Hi, hello there. My name is Kayla and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate it. So in today's video, I'm doing something a little bit different, I guess you could say. Today, I'm going to show you guys all of my empty stuff all of my trash basically i'm just going to show you guys what i've been really loving what i've been using non-stop i have a whole bunch of stuff from skincare to makeup to candles beverages just a whole bunch of stuff that i really really love i really like watching these types of videos because i feel like you get a really good idea of stuff that i actually constantly use and stuff that i absolutely Love. This video is inspired by Taylor Wynn and Abby Williamson. I will have both of their channels linked down below just in case you like these sorts of videos and want to watch more videos that are similar to this one. And before we get started, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And also hit the notification bell so you can be reminded when I upload a new video. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Alright, so first we're going to start off with skincare. The first thing I have here is a Neutrogena Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne. As you can see, I've pretty much used it all up. This retails for about seven bucks and if you have oily acne prone skin i would highly recommend this to you if you haven't tried it out yet i feel like it actually does really help with my acne it is a 10 percent benzoyl peroxide treatment and it really just dries up your skin and sucks out all the bad stuff it's one of the face washes that actually really works for me so if you haven't tried this out i would highly recommend it, it only costs a couple bucks you can pick it up at walmart or cvs your local drugstore and it's good highly recommend all right so next up on my list i have this dove exfoliating body polish this stuff smells so good it is crushed macadamia and rice milk if you like stuff that smells sweet sort of like vanilla stuff like that I would highly recommend this to you I basically exfoliate my legs and my arms and then I shave it really helps prevent like the little red razor bumps situation and I would highly recommend this this is another uh, product you can get at the drugstore or on Amazon and I've really been loving it as you can see here it is basically gone and I think this only cost a couple bucks I believe I paid like seven to eight dollars for it and a plus okay so I have a couple of makeup items here the first thing I have is my Rimmel London radiance brick you can see it's not completely used up but for the most part it's uh it's gone I have severely hit pan on this and this is just a really good light bronzer it's what I have on my face right now it gives you that nice radiant look if you have very fair light skin I would highly recommend this to you it's not overpowering at all it just gives you a little bit of radiance a little bit of shine I don't know if I would say that but I really like it if you have like a nice matte bronzer that you love using and just want to amp it up a little bit add like a soft subtle hint of shimmer I would highly recommend this next up we have one of my tried and true True highlighters. This is the ColourPop highlighter in the shade Flexitarian. It has been beat up. It's been used and abused and it is pretty much gone. I can't really get much out of the sides here. It's kind of dried up and I love this highlighter. If you have fair to medium skin, I would highly recommend this to you. It is a blinding highlight. You can really build it up and to just our face and I really enjoy it I believe it costs like six to eight dollars I believe but it's very very good highly recommend I've been using this highlighter for years probably for like three years whenever it first came out and it used to be sold out all the time you could never get your hands on it but now it's like pretty much readily available and you can get it from the ColourPop website or on Ulta.com or in stores at Ulta next up this is my pretty much go to matte white eyeshadow sometimes eyeshadow palettes that I really love don't have like a nice matte white or like a light cream color eyeshadow in them so I just use this NYX 
eyeshadow in the shade whipped cream it is this nice matte white color as you can see I have severely hit pan on it I use it anytime one of the eyeshadow palettes that I'm using for the day doesn't have a white color in it and I really want to put that white on my inner corner I will just dip into this a little bit and place it on my inner corner so if you're looking for just like a good matte white single eyeshadow I would highly recommend this one from NYX I believe it costs like three to four dollars you can get it at Ulta you can get it at Ulta com or from the next website and I highly recommend it I really love this I've been using this for several years now and I have repurchased this probably three or four times all right so next up I have not one but two concealers the first concealer I have here is my L'Oreal Paris infallible full wear concealer this is my go-to concealer it is very comparable to the Tarte shape tape however I find it a little less dry drying than the Tarte Shape Tape. This is a little bit more, I don't know if I would say dewy, but it is a little bit less drying, I guess. This you can find anywhere at Ulta, at the drugstore, it's everywhere. And this is a very, very good full coverage concealer. It blends out super well. And I've been using this stuff for years. As you can possibly see, it's gone on the bottom and I've really been just scraping in here and like scraping the edges to get more product from it. So I am gonna have to repurchase one of these. But if you're looking for a very good affordable concealer that is full coverage, I would highly recommend this one to you. The next concealer I have here is the Catrice Liquid camouflage high coverage concealer this one isn't as full coverage as the L'Oreal one however it is still full coverage if you like the Maybelline fit me concealer I feel like you would really like this one I find this one is more full coverage than the Maybelline fit me also the Maybelline fit me one doesn't really have shades light enough for me to use as a under eye concealer this one however if you're very fair and want something similar to the Maybelline fit me and they just don't have your shade this could Trace one is amazing. I believe it costs about the same much as the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and it says here it lasts 12 hours. It is really good. It's not as heavy as the L'Oreal one but it applies very well. Full coverage and I would highly recommend this to you. All right so next up I have two hair care items. The first one is the Kenra Blow Dry Spray. <laughs> this stuff is so so good. It smells really good. I feel like it kind of smells like candy, like a sweet vanilla-ish candy in my opinion. This is kind of expensive. You can't really get this at the drugstore. I used to work at a retailer that sold products to licensed cosmetologists, so I would get this cheaper than what you would pay for it at Ulta. However, if you're looking for a really good blow dry spray that's going to protect your hair from heat damage, that's just going to make your hair style better and reduce frizz, this is really, really good and I would highly recommend it to you. I don't know if you can hear that, but I pretty much have like five sprays left of this and I'm gonna have to get some more of it. It says here, Dramatically reduces blow dry time up to 50%, provides intense thermal defense up to 428 degrees, and resists humidity for up to 24 hours. This lightweight formula detangles, smooths, and increases shine, ideal for medium textured hair. And I would 100% agree with all the claims on here. It does all of that. It adds shines to your hair. It reduces your blow dry time. Yeah, it's a very lightweight formula, and I would highly, highly recommend this. If you happen to know of any dupes for this, so let me know, because this is a little pricey but i haven't been able to find anything comparable to it so if you're looking for a good blow dry spray heat protectant frizz preventer i would highly recommend this next up my tried and true dove volume and fullness dry shampoo i love this stuff i have constantly repurchased it this is honestly probably my like seventh can of this stuff i've been using this for years for a very very long time it is so good it smells really good it really dries up my oily hair i can go like five to six days without washing my hair it's just really good <laughs> i highly enjoy it it only costs a couple bucks you can find it at the drugstore at walmart so if you're in the market for a good dry shampoo i would highly recommend this dove volume and fullness one they have a couple other ones i believe they have like a clean one and one that smells like coconuts the volume and fullness 
is my favorite. It smells the best and I feel like it does the best job. However, if I ever run out of this one and it's not in stock at the stores, the Batiste Volume Dry Shampoo is also really, really good as well. But this is my number one go-to dry shampoo. All right, so that is all I have for makeup and hair care and skin care. Next, I just have uh, two things that are home and beverage. The first thing I have here is the banana walnut muffin candle from Bath and Body Works. I typically go for vanilla sweet scented candles. This one is so good. It doesn't really smell like banana to me. It just smells like a, like a muffin, like a vanilla-ish muffin. It smells like some sort of pastry. I don't really smell the banana in here. If you like sweet smells and want to try something different, I would highly recommend this to you. You can get this at Bath & Body Works in store or online. They have been doing a lot of sales recently. They've been doing like buy one get one free candles or candles for a uh, half off. So I would wait until one of their candle sales come up because this originally re Retails for $24.50, but I always get the candles whenever they're half off or buy one get one free. But this banana walnut muffin is my favorite. I am currently using the pumpkin dulce de leche, which smells like pumpkin and cream. It is so good and I really like the design on this one, but I used all of my banana walnut muffin up and I'm just using the pumpkin one now and I really love it too. Yum. All right, last but most certainly not least, this is a beverage, a fall beverage. <laughs> this is the Starbucks Pumpkin Spice Latte Iced Espresso Limited Edition. As you can see here, it is all gone. It's what I'm currently drinking right now. I'm able to fill up my cup about like six times from this. I'll have like a drink of this every day in the afternoon time, just as a little pick-me-up, afternoon pick-me-up if you will. Yeah, this stuff is delicious. If you like pumpkin spice lattes, if you want to try out a pumpkin spice latte but cold, I would highly recommend this. I believe this is like four or five bucks at your grocery store and it's delicious. It tastes like fall. I haven't been going out a whole lot due to the big Rona, so I haven't gone to a Starbucks in months. So I just get this pumpkin spice latte from the grocery store and it lasts six days and it's four or five bucks, which costs the same amount as one pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks but you just pour this in your cup with a little bit of ice and Yum. so if you're a fan of pumpkin spice latte I would highly recommend this to you all right you guys so that is it for today's video this is all the stuff I have used up all the stuff that I have really been loving lately or I've been loving for years let me know in the comments down below if you've tried out any of these things if you really love them if you don't really love them what are some stuff that you've been really loving this month what are your current empties at the moment and yeah that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it bye